Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you how to basically make MIDI drums not sound computerized or robotic, uh, fake, make them sound a little bit more natural and realistic. So this, these are all at 127 velocity, as you can see, um, how that sounds. Alright, so... There's two ways you can do it. One way I would recommend, one way I don't recommend. Uh, one I don't recommend, but it still could work. It just wouldn't really be necessary for a track like this, where there's more notes being played a lot faster, closer together. So what you would want to do is hit H, and that will bring up Humanize. And you can change the velocity percentage on which they vary, and just random, until you get it basically to where you want. So, since that's, how, that, since that's all randomized and different velocities on everything, um, what that will basically do is make it sound more human, which is what humanized does. So what, no drummer can hit every single note the same velocity every time which is why when you do that when you're programming drums it will sound robotic so let's hear it with all 127 and then we'll go back to the human eyes and see the difference and then with the human eyes And after that, you can always you're not really locked in there because, like, this one was a little too quiet. Bring that up a little bit. Since the snares are pretty far apart, they don't have to be super random, they can be pretty hard if you wanted. So yeah, uh, that's the first way. The second way is a little bit more time consuming, but it really helps you get the result you want. I'll just do a, this small section here, if I can highlight it. Fine. All right. So, zoom in then. All right. So these are all 127 velocity once again. And... What I would do, personally, is just go in by hand and adjust it. Just mess around with it. You don't have to get too precise. Um, but what I would recommend is with the kicks, just keep them all random. Don't necessarily like have a specific pattern on what you do. Do this one last minute. So it's like a, it's a subtle change, but I'll put it from here, let it play, and then it'll get to the, the, the more natural sounding Part, and then it will go back into the robotic sounding one. So let's hear how that sounds. So this little section right here obviously would sound a little better in a mix just because it wouldn't sound too consistent. Nothing too consistent really sounds good in this type of field in my opinion. But each their own, I, I suppose. If you wanted to even keep it all 127 velocity, you can. It just depends on the sound you want to get. It's not really too big of a deal, but if you wanted your drums to sound a little more natural and lifelike, like someone was playing it, then that's how you would do it. But again, there's always a humanized option. Just bring them down a little bit. Bring random seed. That'll do it for you. Just adjust a few notes here and there if it hits a little too quiet, if you want it to be louder. It's nothing to think too much about. 
especially when you're doing it all by hand, it's not a good idea to do a pattern because then it'll just be hard, soft, hard, soft, and it might it's, it might sound a little fake if you do that too, so just because you tried a little too hard. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys learned something new, and hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.